in terms of the personality beliefs can have a great effect of soothing and protecting you from seeing life as it is i mean i don't really see how you know if you don't have a religious belief in that you're going to be reunited in death and you're going to live on okay that's one thing but if you don't have that and you lost a beloved member of your family i don't see how you could avoid a confrontation with a certain amount of pain of being human in that and i don't see why you should <laughs> but if you believe you are going to be reunited in heaven or something then you get you get a lot out of that yeah i mean i suppose we're talking about we're coming around to the subject of seeing life as it is aren't we maybe they will have a much better life because of that belief because they won't have a, a hell of a lot of sort of pain from it and maybe that's their lot but it seems like if you have this yearning in you then you you can't really escape looking beyond beliefs really and then you get the confrontation with other sides of life that are, are less rosy <laughs> less <laughs> you know it's a bit like the buddha story isn't it he's in the palace he's surrounded by richness and everything he could need and then he learns that there's such a thing called death you know but before he learned that he was protected from everything that for a human being that can involve so it's like children are protected before the wound anyway they live you live in a kind of you know unless the wound happens really early which definitely can happen but if you have a few years say there's this kind of grace period where you're in everything's good there's no there's no problems mummy and daddy are there and you know you're growing and yes like a sort of wonderland isn't it supported and buffeted and protected by beliefs and your system and your way of thinking of things and your perhaps your hope all these things can create a capsule that protects you from some of the hard stuff and you can get by and you can have a decent life i guess nothing wrong with it it's a way of living your life it's just the difference between do you have the yearning or not really in the end you could argue that if you don't have an experience or the experience of life beyond personality and an opening and all of that then it's better to have a decent set of beliefs that protect you because you're going to have an easier time yeah you're not going to end up suicidal because you've got something going for you that makes it work for you to a level you know life beyond personality is such an anathema to everyone most people because it just it's so habitual and so concrete and so machine is running to trip it up unless you're ready it's it's impossible and partly because all those beliefs are keeping it in place like beautifully it's an incredible working machine isn't it 